What do I do anyway? I'm curious. Like, you mean edibles and stuff? I'm just trying to get through life, man. <laughs> I'm no hero. I'm just a bald headed freak. With problems like everyone else. Good on you for moving your room around, but I don't know why people in the comments have to be so freaking judgmental. Charlotte, people go insane if I show my toe on camera. Like, it it doesn't matter what it is. Everything I do causes outrage. <sighs> Chantal, on the recording, you couldn't even hear you say no. Where's my wine? Where's my wine? I'm going to be self-destructive tonight. Where's my wine? The righteous never have anything to be worried about. Eat an apple? I didn't go to the doctor enough. I'm still fat and unhealthy. So, that's all I gotta say. Sorry. Real people have feelings. I have, there's a fruit fly harassing me because it's desperate for my wine and my drink. Order more wine. No! I would love, I would love. Ah, man, if we could go on Mori. Oh my god, that show should just be called The Trashy and the Toothless. Anyone who doesn't send 15 bucks is getting blocked. As long as one person consents? What about the person not knowing about it? A lawsuit for what? He needed to get my consent? So he can, he's the one recording though, so he, of course he's consenting to it. Hi Karen, I think they mean the other parties. Are you sure? I don't know, I'm finding mixed information about it. Hi! And that was recorded like a long time ago. And he had to ask me like several times. Did I say you? Did I say you? Hmm. In the UK, it's legal if it's for your own use. Meanwhile, I'm like heartbroken during that time where he played that recording. I... Unless one of the participants, I don't know what that means. So it was illegal. I'll find out. I'll find out if it's legal in Ontario for him to record those messages. Because that's freaky. It's not admissible in court, I doubt it. Plus he had to ask me several, several times. Did I? Like, obviously, and then like, then obviously, like, I'm there at that time. I remember how heartbroken I was because I just wanted to see him. And he, I remember calling him, he's like, why would you put me, why would you press the charges? Like, you think I'm going to be all in love with you after pressing charges on me? How about you realize why those charges were pressed? Every single thing I said was true. And you, instead of taking ownership, you turn it around and blame me. Move Didi in because I found out who you really are and I'm going to fucking pers prosecute you. That's the only reason. Like, ah, oh, I, I, he's such, like, everything people said were right about him. And I just, I hate that I didn't see it sooner, but whatever. It is what it is. To record your phone calls is just paranoia and manipulative. Put together a court case i know he should be worrying about his own and then flexing like what all that money that's probably either from selling drugs because i remember him telling me before like i don't want to do it but if i have to blah 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 and then also uh because what person just has like like wads of cash like that so no one gives a shit it's probably dd's Dee money hi vegas star maybe leave it's deflection he wants to keep attention off of his other case who knows paquito but why to mess with me? Like, I did nothing. Like, maybe just because I'm against him now, and I don't know. He would, always would say, don't make me your enemy. Don't make me your enemy. He can't afford to sue, but I'm sure uh, Dee Dee remortgage her house just to do it. And I bet you she would do anything he asks her to do. I know, Tracy, I have to not, but it's not worth it. She would probably take another mortgage out on her fucking show just for him. I bet you any money. Hi, Candace! A bum and a grifter. They don't spend their money, they spend yours. Exactly. So that's probably his money. Yeah, I know. Anyways, whatever. I don't think it's funny. I think that karma will get him eventually, but whatever. So I'm gonna cook. I'm hungry, so. <laughs> what is this? I need to clean. Did you see my bedroom? So later I'm gonna go in my thing and rearrange my room. I'm gonna make like a little area. I'll show you where.
I think tomorrow we'll have the fish today. Hi, sweetie. Today we'll have these. And, yeah, that's good. My room's a sanctuary. Anyways, that 22-year-old will not leave me alone. He desperately... <laughs> my pelvis doesn't hurt right now anymore. I think it was, like, bowel inflammation. I know it will be hard to do. This will never... Tracy, it's so hard. I cannot get over the fact that I have somebody that I spend so much time, money, and, lo like, genuine emotion on is trying to destroy me now. Because he cannot accept his own... his The consequences of his actions, like... Anyway. And I, like, I want nothing... I hate them both. Like, I, I cannot even believe I was ever attracted to him. I cannot believe I ever put my mouth on her. I cannot believe it. If you stop talking about him, he will get bored and move on. He stabbed you. He stabbed a woman and her cousin, his cousin, or whatever. Yeah. He said he was your chef, that's all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course he's going to say that now. Anyone who doesn't send 15 bucks is going to blow I believe it, Tweedledee. <laughs> I know it's hard not to talk about him, but everyone knows he's a piece of shit. Even the reaction channel stopped talking about him. There's no way down there when watch him. Stress can trigger pelt pain in the... I know. You couldn't even hear you say no. You couldn't even hear it hardly, I know. Because when he was asking me that, I remember that. I didn't know he was recording that. When he was asking me that, I'm thinking... Is he record trying to get a recording? Like, that's all he was concerned about. I missed him so bad, and I and I just wanted to see him, and all he was concerned about was his own fucking ass. No, it'll stop. I'll stop talking about it. This is the ending. Once he moved in with D2, he was just trying to set you up to clear his name. The apartment was just a plus. Book a trip, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get my life back on track here. Good on you for moving your room around, but I don't know why people in the comments have to be so freaking judgmental. Charlotte, people go insane if I show my toe on camera. Like, it it doesn't matter what it is. Everything I do causes outrage. <sighs> Chantal, on the recording, you couldn't even hear you say no. Why would, you, why would he need you to get him an apartment if he's so rich? Get yourself an apartment with that down payment of cash. It must be for, like, a lawyer. Didn't he need seven grand for a lawyer? He's probably going to make... He wanted me to get him a lawyer. He's probably going to have Didi get him a good lawyer because he doesn't want a public defender. Dude, you said... You told me that you spent 80000 on a lawyer for your case with Delphine. <clears throat> and you lost anyway. So... Get a public defender. He sent it to his mom... Listen, everyone whose moms are sick, who, who have lost a mother, I really, 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 honestly, I do care about his mom. I care about his mom a lot. I've always cared about your mom. You don't care about anything but yourself, pal. I always cared about your mother, always. Your family, your mom. I cared about Dee Dee's mother, even though I said some bad things. I think I said, the worst thing I said, she swore on her mother right to my fucking face. I swear, they came running out of the room when I saw him going down on her. And I ran out of the room. I said, you fucking, I said, Dee, I'm going to kill him. I swear to God, get him away from me. I ran to the, the living room. They all ran after me. <sighs> Dee looks at me. Chantal, I swear in her red fucking lingerie, I swear on my mother's life, I never fucked Natter. Natter and I never fucked. Did he really post using D2 to violate a registrating order for him? Yes. He cannot use anyone to contact you. He's violated the thing lots of times. Hotel, everything. So what I said, what I did, yeah, I did read it, Norma. So there you go. So I, so I think her mom, she said that her mom got sick after not long after and I wrote to her when I found out they were lying I wrote you swore on your mother's life and I bet you that's why she's sick your own fucking fault I was mad I'm sorry but I was mad that was disgusting to say and then he blames me for his mom being sick like poor baby 
your own actions, buddy. I don't know about the drugs, but... <sighs> he tried to keep the fact... Like, he... I haven't seen him do any, like, hard drugs or whatever, like, in a long, long time. And that's because he promised me when I was getting better, he would never touch it again. So if he was, he was hiding it from me. Uh, no one made me. No, no one made... I didn't say anyone made me do it, but he really pushed me to. I did it for him because it was his fantasy. I, I've said many, many, many times I didn't want to do it. He always did. Like, he always made me feel uncomfortable, and he doesn't care. I was literally throwing up, and he was mad that I was acting acting like that. You're ruining the night. If you went to a sketchy neighborhood, you could find someone just like Natter. No, I'm good. I'm actually really happy with my piece right now. Yes. Because I was drunk and wanted to make him happy. I don't know if you understand that. I already said that a million times. No. How dare you vomit? Weird reach that you made his mother sick. Because VI peasant, that's what narcissists do. When their world comes, when they get found out, they try to turn it on you. So he'll, he's going to try to gaslight and blame me for every, everything. Everything. If someone said that to me as I'm throwing up, I would cry. No, well, he would, like, we would be doing, like, he would, sexual things, and then in the middle I would be sick. Like, I'm sick, and you're trying to push me to keep doing shit, you know? And he doesn't care. Like, he never cared. <clears throat> How I felt. I drank way too much of her crappy cheap wine. And then one night I brought tequila. I have that bottle of wine and I'm waiting till I'm not angry with douche face before I drink it. I'm gonna make corn and these are the sausages I got from Costco. So instead of spending 150 on a toy, I'm just gonna cut these sausages into little rounds put them on the plate for for Pete's and I. I like cooking. I never thought I would, but I think I'm doing all right. What do you guys think? You can get a camper for 200 bucks a month. Oh, yeah. I'm seriously thinking of getting a camper and like going on the road with Pete's and the cats. The righteous never have anything to be worried about. For gambling? One time I didn't give him money for gambling because he was trying to make up a story. I need 150, like he was trying to get money from me. And I knew it was because he was playing this rat game he likes to play. Noble rats. Ugh, the trauma. Oh my God. He's obsessed. Well, one time he lost thousands in one, oh my God. And he was mad because I wouldn't keep playing. Noble rats, yeah. <laughs> I swear. Accountability for what? No, Layla, I don't. Do I have- can I block Layla? She's fucking stupid. Bye. He showed his bank on his phone. He blew 400 online casinos in two- He, I, we started off, the one night where he went off on me and, like, the bad fight happened, he was, we did, like, fucking so much, you know what. He was, like, okay, put 100, 100, 100. So, like, I think it was only 100 bucks each I put on both our things. But he played it up to, like, we, oh, how much did he end up winning? It was, like, 3,000 and something. And he lost, he didn't want to give up because he was on it and he was freaking out. And I'm, like, let's just stop, let's just stop, you know? And I got mad. He fucking lost all of it. And then he was trying to get me to add more money, like, Okay, we just do this way and this way. You didn't do it the right way. That's why I told you to play at the same time. We pressed the button at the same time. Now it's your fault that we lost. He was all paranoid. So so now, and he made me lose like thousands of dollars. Yeah, he did. And I didn't say much because he was flipping the fuck out and flipping the table. He was, he was insane that night. I gave him the benefit of the doubt too much, I guess.
he wasn't who he said he was. He lied so bad. Like, he just admitted, like, the story. He apparently was hiding at his exes, is what you guys are telling me he admitted. That night I called him over and over. A year ago. The only night. Anyway, number one. The next day, when I got a hold of him, he fucking lied like it was just natural to him. Like, hello? Acting surprised that I was calling. He's like, oh, my screen. He's like, oh. No, that was another excuse. My screen was blank. I couldn't answer it all night. This time it was, oh, I left my phone at home. You have nothing to be worried about. I want to see you every day. I wish I had those messages. I want to see you every day. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Lying piece of crap. I hope you get everything. Every problem you have in your life from now on is your own fault. Is your own karma for how you treat people, how you have treated people. I'm burning water. Be quiet. Why are you guys stupid? I'm kidding. I dated a nerd, a piece. I think it was thrilling to do all that bad stuff when you first met. Yeah. With tin sesh, maybe. It is self cleaning, but. Corn and sausages. So. Why is he messaging me? I have cat hair everywhere. This person is messaging me. The uh, 22 year old. I want to see you today. I want to see you today. He's, <laughs> he's only been in Canada for seven months. No, not, not at her. I have him blocked still. And he's probably, he doesn't have me blocked because He's baiting me. I'm not gonna book her. Mm -hmm. life. I have himself. I took it out on me. That's what you always do. And if he doesn't care how it makes me feel. Even so, he would get mad. Ah, oh, I would say, well, why did he do this? I would say, well, I thought I felt. And he'd go, yeah, you felt. Don't feel. Yeah, you felt. That's the problem. Don't feel. Don't feel. Sorry. Real people have feelings. And you and Didi are liars. Because your ex confirmed to me that she never heard of Didi. Hmm. Um her daughter bought a brand new camera to keep an eye on you before they moved and you cut the cord and broke it. <laughs> Diamond. They kicked him to the curb but they had to live in his neighborhood with him until they moved out. They moved to get away from him, fuck. In the country. I was supposed to go see him. She invited me for dinner but so he could tell me some horror stories. But she didn't trust me. Because she saw I kept going back with him. Well. She said, I'm sorry to tell you, but he's still trying to contact me. Just tells me he loves me, all this and that. Like, really? It's nice to know. You fucking liar. He has multiple women in case. Exactly. And. It makes sense. He was just using me all this time. He didn't want to see me. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, there's a supply right now. He has money. He has everything he needs. It's not a way to live, but whatever. I expect that somebody who's accepting all this help from you and telling you they love you, yeah, I would expect him to love me. Sorry. But, of course money doesn't buy love. It's not just money. It's like everything. Emotional support. There were, just support in every way possible. No, I mean, I can't believe people lie like that. About their entire existence. Like, it's because in reality, you're, you're nothing to brag about. But you have to fabricate a story about yourself because no one will want to be around you. And you know it. You can't even stand to be around yourself. 
I love being alone because I have peace of mind knowing that I'm not a piece of shit. Nothing I do is for feeders. You people need to get over the fact that fat people exist and they eat. How about that? Who are we talking about? Who's deleting comments? Me? You, Natter, Dee Dee, Shoo Shoo, Pete's, Kevin. And Nadia needs to go. I didn't see your, I didn't see your comment. I really didn't. I'm gonna leave my mess in there. We need to start the 60 days. No talking about the bum. That's what you are. Sheffield scammy. You're a bum. Okay, guys. So, I'm thinking of setting up my area here so I can have the lights and stuff in a background. What do you think? Looks like my 19 year old's room. <laughs> well, it isn't good feng shui to have your bed under a window. Why? I like that. With the sun. Look, I look out my window, and all I see are clouds. Look at this. Look at my view, Pete. Very nice. Okay, well, fuck Feng Shui then. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> you said that Natter poured his heart out to you and you thought it, this woman had put him in jail falsely, but I thought you didn't know any, about anything till FFG call. No. He did pour his heart out to me. Like, I can't remember when, like right at the beginning. <clears throat> He's like, I have to tell you something. And he told me the whole story. And then I felt bad for him. And then when I talked to FFG, she, as far as I remember, I don't remember everything, but she said that, what did she say? She made it seem like to me, like she, her ex or knew, they were in the same group of friends. And she told me without a doubt, like she knew the story. She said that who was stabbed was a woman, his ex-girlfriend. It was just one person and she was stabbed in the gut. And the only reason she's alive is because she was able to run away. And this fucking bitch even had the nerve to tell me that I wouldn't be so lucky because I can't run away. And that she was like a black belt and all this other shit. Marley, Ontario is one party consent. Only one party must consent to the recording. It keeps a third party from secretly recording two people. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so you did know. Yeah. I knew all along about, about, but not her version, what she told me. So I was like, how do you know anything about it? Like, I've seen, you know what I mean? Now, the papers I've seen didn't say, like, how many people were involved. It, it actually, the only person I seen as the victim was Delphine. Like, Delphine's name was there. And one time, his probation officer, he was even on the phone with him. It was a male probation officer at the time. And he's like, does she know about, who's this? Because he heard me in the background. He's like, oh, this is my friend, my girlfriend, or whatever introduced me as like his girlfriend and he's like does she know about Delphine and at the time I was like yeah I know about the story but he was like set up that's what I was thinking in my head like he really had me fucking brainwashed I swear maybe it's true maybe he was set up I don't know uh FFG said she was like a black belt or something <clears throat> she could like kick people's ass or whatever Does the probation know about YouTube? She doesn't know. The, she knows he has a YouTube. He must tell her, like, oh, she's stalking me. He must lie to her. I don't know if she doesn't watch the videos or what. But. <clears throat> He's shown his probation officer your messages. <clears throat> they make me look stupid. They make me look insane, of course. But, like, he, like they're incriminating them own selves. Like, okay, what did you show? Dee Dee replying. I was asking Dee Dee about the dropping the case. And she's like, let's just stick to the plan. Um. 
yeah, your plan was for me to go and lie to the police to get it dropped. <clears throat> because I had to. The prosecution will not drop a case just from the... The victim tries to drop the case so often that they now don't allow a victim to just go in. They have to... The prosecution has to look at the accusation, make sure, you know. No, nope, we've all... But the thing is, they don't take accountability for anything. They don't. They just keep lying to try to get out of the mess that they've created for themselves. Like, they just keep digging themselves more and more in. <laughs> so what do you think you're going to do? Go visit him at Dee Dee's? Dee Dee's not going to allow that because he's lying to her, saying that they're going to be together, guaranteed. That's why I didn't. it didn't make sense to me before why she was so mad. He lied to her. You don't think he's going to keep lying to you? He lied to you about coming to Gatineau with me. He lied to her, saying, I have to go see my probation officer in person. So I picked him up. And she flipped out. And that's when she's like, I know you're in bed with this man, blah, blah, blah. Read between the lines. Another fucking lie. Do you see all of the lies? So you're getting, you're mad and blaming, blaming your mother's illness. You, you have no one to blame but your own lies. The fact that you are lying to various women and using them to fucking own, earn your way in life. You have no one to blame but yourself. That's what karma is. You can't escape it and you can't blame it on me. Because you'll just get more bad karma. So keep it piling up. He, there was a pregnant there was a fucking pregnancy to i'm helping him move i fork out 200 dollars and 50 dollars because he wasn't he big man wasn't feeling good and couldn't move all the rest of his shit out of saint antoine uh in gatineau so i helped him i paid for movers to come take out all his shitty old furniture that was hand-me-downs from his ex <clears throat> my god Jessica was a huge troll. She then got busted for being a troll. He blocked her. She deleted every negative comment, all of her negative Reddit posts, and then wormed her way back into the wrench. Why would that even be like a badge of honor? He lied to me about everything, Beezer Beauty. Of course, they're fucking... No, I would never go see him. Ever, ever, ever. I haven't blocked. He can't even text me. So no, he can't even text me. So no, I wouldn't go see him. Of course I wouldn't. I was supposed to see him way back at the beginning of June and I said fuck this I'm done like I tried to be you know cordial about it this is not a, this is not a regular relationship this was very toxic and abusive that's what I keep forgetting there's no dealing with it in a logical way porch homeless lady now the other one was older too it was probably porch lady who he screws for her to have a place to stay I don't know where she would have the time when he's always wanting me over there when I leave, he probably gets fucking mad, pays me back by screwing somebody. He's a piece of crap. I wouldn't put it past him. We're going through the stuff in the bathroom. <clears throat> There's a fucking box on the, uh, on the counter with a wrapper of a used pregnancy test. And I'm like, this wasn't here last time I was here. He was like, you weren't here for a long time. He's like, what are you talking? He's like, you think it's Dee Dee's? She can't even get pregnant. Or she, maybe she, I don't know. He, that's what he thought. He's like, it's probably the freaking rat guy or something. Who knows? He was like making jokes out of it. And I was like... The, the actual test was missing. It was just the wrapper and the box. With my body wash all over the box. So... This guy probably raw dogs everybody. Thus the STDs. I'm still mentally dealing with realizing every fucking thing he did to me. And honestly, Natter, I hope you get what's coming to you. I really do. I hope justice is served. Maybe not my by me because I was an ass. I was dumb and I dropped all the charges on you. But it looks like I'm not the only one. Because when I went to the detective, there was a couple other women who had stuff on you. So good luck. Good luck, Dee Dee, dealing with that too, you fucking moron. See ya! Wouldn't want to be you in a million years. <clears throat> he doesn't add anything to, to my life. He doesn't. He just takes and takes. I don't know. It was like a, it was a different name. I can't remember the name of the girl, but he said May. He said May's name. Do you know like a Brenda or something? And I was like, Bre I was like, no. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, May. And then he's like, and then there was another name of somebody. I was like, do you know these this other woman? So, it's not just me. <laughs> it 
I feel peaceful. Laura, apparently, I, I can't remember. I only talked to the one ex. And I said exes because I wanted to throw him off. I didn't want him to know. Because the other one really wants to keep her location and everything private. She said she didn't get a restraining order on him because she would have had to give the address. <coughs> a collab with his exes. No. She wanted to, but I'm not talking to her right now because I went back to him. <coughs> he needs to be stopped. He does. Because especially just realizing all of the things he did to me, like with the Oh my god, the lies. Just trying to scam out of getting money, like, for gambling, and... He called me one time. Oh, I need money for, uh... I'm at the shop, I'm at the cash, and I don't have money for, like, some supplies for a job, for the job I have to do, and... He was such a liar. <laughs> don't leave. I know, Charlotte. He can be deported. It's... He really can't be. If he, maybe this time he could be, because we did talk to a lawyer before. I paid three fifty for a consultation for a lawyer. I was going to give him $5,000. I'm so glad I didn't. For a lawyer. In the Delphine case, because he was facing losing his, immigrant, his uh, status. So all you have now left to cling to is my messages from February. Did you do questionable, crazy things? Yes. Did you do any real wrong? No. He says you talked about him, but what you actually did was expose his abusive behavior, as you should have. H, you're always the voice of reason here, I have to say. He says you talked about him, but what you actually did was expose his abusive behavior, as you should have. Thank you. Didn't you say you threw a chair at him? No, I didn't. I was verbally abusive to him. Usually after, like, being in a fight with him, yeah, I would call him an asshole and all this shit. I never threw anything at him. If I said that, it was to make it look like I was abusive. I wanted to make him look good so that you guys would accept him. Because how can I, I tell you all these horrible things that happen and then just expect you guys to... I wanted so bad for things to be normal. So bad. Maybe he has an appointment to try to open a restaurant. That would be nice, Beezer Beauty. Maybe he's paying his lawyer to sue me. <laughs> sue me for what? Like, the PD have nothing legitimate. Number one, how are you going to get me for harassment? When, so, like, he didn't block me. So you have don't have me blocked anywhere. You've answered my phone calls. Um, You are doing live streams for hours talking shit about me. So where where's, where's the harassment? There's no case. You're full of shit. I know my rights. I'm not stupid. I'm not an idiot. And you mess with the wrong fucking person. I know how to fucking defend myself. And I'm not going to let you put me through more shit. I hate that you hate that you got burned for trying to see the best in someone. Natter is a real loser for hurting you. Yeah, Fupa Sally, thank you. I agree. <clears throat> Harassment will never stand up in court. He's got a block button for a reason. He can't. It's actually harder than you think to get a harassment charge. The cops would tell him not to talk about online. And even Dee Dee, I haven't messaged her in forever. And yeah, she's messaged me back. And yeah, I was fucking mad at her and sent her a bunch of nasty messages. Sorry, all I'm gonna have to say there is, well, this bitch fucking came and swooped in and... Like, I'm sorry, you both fucking manipulated me and lied to me and... Oh my god, like, if you only knew all the shit. If he suspects those are fake profiles and the judge would say, why aren't you blocking those? <sighs> He's just full of crap. Because since those fake profiles... I haven't created new fake profiles in a long time. Since those fake profiles were created we've communicated over them several several times him knowing it was me i created two fake profiles M maria pondu and krista bizion and i think just two maybe three and not recently and we've communicated through them you think he's acting like this so Chris Farley won't kick him out? Yeah, because I'm like, why is Dee Dee getting mad the last time? I'm like, why is she mad that you're meeting up with me? Because she's jealous. She's like, no, because I told her that I would not see you after everything. That she She's helping me to get away from, helping me out when you were pressing charges on me. And I was like, 
Down Under, I didn't believe May because I, I thought I had the timeline right in my head. I saw her messages, so for me, there was no way. But knowing that the timeline is different, it just changes everything. I think you are finally out the other side. Yep. Didi said, I will take her down. Yeah, she will. She's a fucking linebacker. Take me down, bitch. You're the one going down, if anything. I don't have to do anything but just wait here and laugh at them. I'm here. Bring me your legal team. We will fucking laugh at you and laugh at you in court. You're going to make a bigger ass of your fucking self. Bigger ass. Didi said Nato was crying when they arrested him when you pressed charges. Was that even the truth? Or was that a way for Didi to manipulate you to drop the charges? She was saying, Chantal, are you really going to ruin this man's life? Blah, blah, blah. They just arrested him. Um... Ew, what is that? I think someone lives here. Look at my bathroom. Is there a dead body in here? Let's see, let's see for something gross. I think there's... Poopa, is that my ass? Why does it look like that? Who lives in here? What is that? Is that a toy? Are those temptations? BBJ! I found some treats, BBJ! To Monica! Yeah, they need to wash Monica. I need to wash my clothes. And that's my blankie. And my pillow, I guess. What else? There's a backdrop here. Oh, a backdrop. Some turbans. He said he has a meeting with an officer and he wants some answers today. I just got a proof for a luxury apartment with a rooftop hot tub. Yes! I am jealous! The villa has no rooftop anything. That's sweet. This poster has to go up somewhere. What was I going to do with this again? Does anyone remember? 60 days no contact, but I don't think I need that anymore. I really don't want to have any contact anymore, so... I could use this poster for something else. Like a goal or something. You know? Are you going to sit here? Just wait. Yes. Glass with ice. Or no, here, here. Can you put ice in here? Jesus. There's no Pepsi. Also, you only have two ice cubes left. Lame. Thank you. I got a poo-poo. I might order Twisty Misties later. You want some? Sure. This smells like that guy's house or the hotel. It was clean. I didn't wear it at the hotel. I miss Tony a little bit, but he's a fucking ass. Tony, why are you such an asshole? Hey, Tony. Can your audience see you? Like you, maybe just try to like uh, get it from like this angle, but that doesn't seem to work either. Yeah, so you're out of luck. You can't do that. Shorty, shorty, short, short. Do shorty, short, short. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna give my mom a call. Okay. Bye. Feeds our nation. Say it to my face. Where's Dee Dee? Say it to my face. Say it to my face. Say it to my face. They want me to do a story time about Lachine. Oh, yeah. Lachine story time? Lachine story time, Dee Dee. Since I'm so in love with you. Yeah, you get my blood boiling. Granny, then don't watch me obsessively while you're on C.H. Robinson time. Huh? C.H. Robinson time. Dumb bitch is not gonna... These people are, have a live stream saying they're going to fucking sue me and talk to a police officer, but they're going to talk shit about me? <clears throat> Where's my wine? Where's my wine? I'm going to be self-destructive tonight. Where's my wine? <sighs> Just seeing it. Fuck. I had to call. I unblocked him. When I heard her, I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. When I heard her talking shit about me and then him, I'm like, no. No, 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 no. Sam's hair. Yeah, I got a couple of teeth. <clears throat> He's such a coward, he won't even answer. Watch. Because he knows. He knows. Whatever. You're stupid. Keep talking. No one even gives a fuck about you. You have 250 people watching. I, Alyssa, when I heard that bitch talking shit, I unblocked him real quick. And the stupid asshole thought I'm calling to suck his ass. He answers privately in Dee Dee's bedroom. When he sees me, he's all surprised. Like, And then he hears me flipping out. And he... <laughs> well, you think I'm going to call and kiss your little fucking ass? Never again, pal. Never again. Watch, she's too coward. He won't answer. Plain cheese. Oh no, he's gonna. He's watch. He's gonna use this against me as harassment. Love that for you. Made fake accounts? Yeah, so I can talk to you and give your dumb ass money because you're fucking broke ass. He can't even, he can't have a civil conversation. He doesn't know how. Bye. Bye. Yeah, she has nothing to say, oh, she, but but she's acting such big and tough, huh? Mm-hmm. 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 At least you have a lot to say about me, so I called her. Say it to my face. You have something to say to me? Say it to my face. I'd like to hear it. Bitch, you inserted yourself in this. What do you expect me to, how do you expect me to treat you? You expect me to treat you kind? That you and him fucking lied to me and manipulated me for a year? No, 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 no. Reap what you sow, eat it up. No, co any court is going to laugh you right in the fucking face. Number one, you're lucky you're not in prison right now for fucking breaking a no contact order. So, yeah. Like, they really think they have a case and they're going to talk about me like that? No. Actually, this camera doesn't have filters. So what now, jealous bitches? I still have flawless skin. What now? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You ain't got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. I'm sorry. My adrenaline, I can't control my impulses sometimes. <laughs> when I've seen her in mouth going south, I was like, oh no, grandma. No, no, grandma. I guess I am age shaming her because kissing her, I need therapy. So don't blame me. Anyways, guys, are we going to bees and sing? She makes fake account. Yeah. To talk to your fucking ass. Oh my god, this guy is such a loser. I'm obsessed? No, I'm obsessed with bringing him down now. Yeah, I am. Because he's a piece of shit. So yes. Am I obsessed with him? No. I don't want his crusty fucking ass anymore. But he's a coward. Can't even say shit to my face like I thought. What have you got to say? Hiding behind Dee Dee, yeah? Dee Dee, don't sue my ass. She can't. I should be suing her. Fucking pussy PTSD. Tell her to sue. How? Why hasn't she so, su How? Why hasn't she sued me yet? Because she can't. She cannot. She cannot. Dee Dee, you're a desperate old hoe. No one will fuck you anymore, which is why you're with Natter. Natter, you're desperate and you have nowhere to go, which is why you're with Dee Dee. I hate all these people. Chinny, bitch. My two chins can fit between the gap in your teeth. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I might be have double chins, but I'm hell of a prettier than you. Jesus Christ, go look at my community clothes. Jump scare, bitch. Jump scare. I had some things to take care of. So basically, I will not be bashing Natter or Dee Dee anymore as long as they keep their big fat traps closed about me. 
Thank you. Do do. I heard you call me Kool Aid Man. So I really don't think you have a case of harassment against me since you insult me. But I'll give you that one because I've insulted you many times. But you did swoop in and take my boyfriend from me. So fuck you. Cheers. You guys want to hear your 90s music now? Oh my god, it's too fast. They're trying to get me in jail. They're trying to get you in jail so you can't testify. I haven't been asked to testify against anybody. Prettier where? In my ass crack? None of you are prettier than me. None of you. None. All you haters are ugly. The only beautiful people here are the non-haters. Ew, you're so obese. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> a normal BMI. Ooh, no, not a normal BMI. I feel like such an ugly person because I don't have a normal BMI. Oh, no. I better go. I better go. I don't know. Oh, no, I better go cry. Who the hell does she think she's calling Kool-Aid man? Look at you. You literally look like a man. Give me a break. At least <laughs> you're calling me fat? Girl, bye. Your feet are a size 13. You could literally kick Natter's ass. Literally. I have there's a fruit fly harassing me because it's desperate for my wine and my drink. <laughs> Order more wine. No. All right, enough of these losers. Let's go to our beezers. I'll see you guys in the in a beezing stream. Bye. That's better. Yes. So I know you're watching doo doo, friggin' dummy. I, I I just happen to see that there's a cease and desist letter on his phone. You didn't even spell my name right. It's not Sagaro Colbeck. And furthermore, furthermore, I will not cease and desist to talk about you because I'm a sh merely sharing things that happen in my life. So if you don't want me to share threesome stories, that's just too fucking bad. Take me to court. I will do it anyway. Take me to court. Because you just ruined any case you had calling me the Kool-Aid man dummy. I can easily take you to court with a cease and desist. Cease and desist, I've typed one up for Natter or helped him type one up against Monty. And I'm sure that you did this online too. Google, Google, Google. Good for you. Nice secretary. Nice secretary. That's all you are. A boring old secretary. You have no case. You have nothing. You know what? If you don't want to be talked about online, don't go online. Don't insert yourself in this drama mess. Because that's what you did. And the fact that anyone has any sympathy for you is really sad. I think I'm just upset because I like... Someone told me that he said that that night that I was going after, like the night that I went to see him and was calling his phone, blowing up his phone, that he was at his ex's. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go. I don't feel like doing anything. I'll see you guys later, okay? I don't care what people do to me in life anymore, but I'm not raging. Okay, so if you're here hoping I'm going to be angry, well, guess what? Oh, fucking second. I'm hungry. Don't laugh at my sausage fingers cutting sausages. <laughs> Bald-headed geezer. <laughs> Grilled cheese? I don't have any sliced bread. All I got is fucking buns. Tired ass buns from Costco. There we go. No cutting board. I don't know where it is. I got some turkey here too. Oh, that's too much meat. Cherry bubbly. Gouda and Swiss. Can you tell the Swiss is my favorite? Look, I don't have much of that left. Go cheese, bees! Eat an apple? I didn't go to the doctor enough. I'm still fat and unhealthy. So, that's all I gotta say. You don't like it? You don't gotta bees here. I'm kidding. Hmm. Hi. They're fighting bugs? Where do you see that? They're never gonna fight because she she never says no.
As long as you don't say no, you're good. I'm not gonna talk about him or her anymore. I've been saying that, and I mean it. I created this mess. I know I did. No, I didn't, did I? Yeah. Actually, you know what, Aunt Janet? Things just kind of happen, like, this way, unfortunately. Take your class, shove it up your ass. <laughs> I have a new beat. You want to hear it? Take your class, shove it up your ass. What do I do, anyway? I'm curious, like, you mean edibles and stuff? I'm just trying to get through life, man. <laughs> I'm no hero. I'm just a bald-headed freak. With problems like everyone else. I'm not raging anymore, no. I told him that too before I blocked him again. I'm like, I don't want to fight with you. I just have to ignore them. Like, I have to be patient and ignore them. It's hard not to go to the channel and see what they're saying about me sometimes, you know? And then when I see him doo doo chiming in and calling me names, like fucking provoking shit, like, I know I have to ignore it. But I'm sorry, I find it very funny that you think you have a kid. Like, <laughs> your fucking cease, Google cease and desist letter. You can send it to me, I'm not going to listen. You're gonna have to take me to court. I don't have to listen to you. I called him live for him, them to say what they wanted to fucking say to my face. But it was stupid. It was reactive. That's why. Hit the bong. My life will be easier if I just forget about him. I know. Shoo Shoo's eyebrows have never left my mind. I'm also just realizing that every single thing he told me I thought was a lie or had a gut feeling about was a fucking lie. Do you remember when I was driving, freaking out, crying over this fucking asshole? And the whole time he's fucking at his ex fucking her while I'm wondering where he is after he's being a piece of shit liar? No, sorry. I could never, I could never, my, I know you don't think I have any self-respect. Whatever I do, I can tell you I do, because it would not allow me to ever, like, no. If I ever communicate with him, it's not out of love or anything like that anymore. It is just, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try not to ever communicate with him again, but I'm just saying, like, it's, like, tonight was more just reactive, like, hearing her talking about me and, like, then having the nerve to be like, I'm going to have a lawsuit against you? Really? Mm-hmm. And, but call me and see you next Tuesday on your stream. Then the Kool-Aid girl. Okay. Make it make sense. Again. She was a fan. I don't care where she came from. She came from a giant elephant's ass for all I care. What does she think she is? Like, why does she think I'm going to be nice to her? You lied to me, like, the whole time. You swore on your mother the whole time. The both of you sat there in my face and lied to me. I don't know about you, but I, that means a lot to me. When somebody I care about and I'm paying their fucking rent lies to my face and purposely hurts me yeah that's gonna make me feel a certain way but you're really you're both nothing you're both insignificant pieces of crap and i don't care i am done talking about them they're tired she's saying the threesome is a lie no we had a threesome twice twice not just once defamation you have to really prove that didn't happen why is my wig there if it didn't happen She's a lie. She lied about everything. Like, literally, she lied She lied about Ashley. Who are you going to believe? They've been literally proven liars. Over and over. We can get a lie detector test if you want. I would love, I would love. Ah, man. If we could go on Maury. <clears throat> picture him with his big eyes. Maury going, And, Mr. and Sammy, and the lie detector test determined. That was a lie more than 65 times. <laughs> and I'll take my fucking shoe off. Like, you better run. Oh, sorry. You better run backstage. <sighs> That's Dr. Phil. Oh. <laughs> Steve Wilkos? I will punch his bald head. Jeremy Kyle. No, nah, everyone on Jeremy Kyle has like one tooth combined. <laughs> Oh my god, that show should just be called The Trashy and the Toothless. Celebrity Rehab. What, Moni? Bald on bald violence. I look like him. Ricky Lake. 
<laughs> Steve Bilko takes extremely embarrassing stories like this. Y'all don't have any trashy. Excuse me! I deserve to be on Oprah. I don't think I'll ever be on Ellen. Uh, the time he freaked out and drove to his house when he wasn't answering, he was with his ex. Yep. But the next day he told me, remember what I told you guys? Oh, he just forgot his phone. Don't I look like the biggest fucking moron of life? Jesus. I believed him. Shame on me. And you know what? It's not even my... It's, it's not even shame on me. Oh, no, it's not even shame on me. Just let them become irrelevant in our dark order. I know. I need to do that. Because you are irrelevant. You think that you're just going to build an empire on YouTube without any fucking help. Give me a break. Well, we'll see. Judge Judy, I would probably end up getting in a friggin' fist fight. <laughs> With the bailiff. That one guy that she always has as her bailiff. <sighs> Excuse me. Stay awake. Why are you guys never sleeping or what? I think the scale is too short as fuck. The scale is right. Do people actually think it's not true? I don't have any plans. More fucking shit. Hopefully not a giving a crap what Matter and Dee Dee are saying about me. And doing something productive. The gym. Actually, the gym has a promotion right now. I have a gym here in my building. Should I go to the building gym? No kidding. I don't do the gym either. No shame. I'm sorry, Zoe. Jeez. Anyway, a few more minutes and I will go to bed. Some people are evil. I know, it's hard to wrap my brain around that. Like, you knew how hurt I was. Calling you and calling you. Why didn't you just say... Like, why not just be honest? I was with my ex. Like... It's just all fake. No, he's not, Tessa. Every single thing was a lie. Everything. And now that he knows that I know he's a liar, he just wants, like, nothing to do with me because he knows his mask is off. There's no point. There's no point in him trying to act like he's something to me because I know he's not. The main arrest. Jeez, Zoe. I hope he's rotting in hell. I realized I didn't know the person I was in love with at all. Realizing that I was in love with someone who wasn't real really helped me because I saw it wasn't real. See, that's what fucks me up. It's like how I wasted a whole year of my life like, and all this drama for what? Like, we're all in a bad way right now because of this shit. You know? <laughs> and he still wants to sit there and act like it's all my fault. Yeah, he'll never change. Only you can change. Do you feel like you still talk about it because you're more angry? Your time was wasted? I don't know what it is, day boy. It's a mixture of emotions, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm just acting out. I was sleeping around. Maybe it made me feel like I had power for a change. With these fucking douchebags. He makes it all your fault because you saw through his illusion. Yeah. PTSD? Oh yeah, at the very minimum, I'd imagine. I think I do too, honestly. I really do. In a lot of ways. I started to accept your reality and theirs was not the same. Yes, because they act like they're on the same page with you. Like, they're good actors then, I guess. They're like fucking chameleons. And I love how he makes a joke now, like it's a catchphrase for him to be like, shut up and leave. Like, it's like being abusive is funny. It's real funny. Remember when Natter slowed you through shrooms for 300? Yeah, I remember. Anyway. I mean, I don't know, but your ego would be a little hurt. Yeah, I mean, it's not ego. It's putting your like just did so much for him like and he didn't win how did he win if i'm the one who canceled the apartments can anyone tell me that just because he's at dds the only reason he's at dds is because i fucking broke up with him literally dropped him off and said see ya 
so I mean, no, no. Right. <clears throat> I don't think so. If I had gotten the apartments, it would be a different story. Thank you. His old place? He just wanted to get out of... He. I don't know what happened. Like, if he didn't pay the rent or what, I don't know. Maddie. As someone that went through a horrific breakup in fall 2020 because my ex cheated on me, I want to tell you you're not crazy. Your pain is so valid. and time really heals all wounds, you will start to heal. So it's... Thank you, Maddie. It's good to know there's, like, normal people out there. <laughs> Thank you. Like, just to hear that, like, my feelings are validated. Like, that I was hurt and put through fucking shit. And, yeah, like, I look nuts screaming and yelling at him. And that's sometimes all I want to do. You know? Like, he's going to look like a fool going off about harassment when both parties have done the same thing. I let him look like a fool. He thinks he's smart. <sighs> Thank you so much, um, Maddie. And I'm sorry you went through that, too. Good night, Moni. They're recording you being your best friend. Yeah, I know. Oh. <sighs> My room is so fucking messy. <sighs> All right, everybody. Since you want me to, I'll take my makeup. <laughs> Beezer Shoe. I like that name, Beezer Shoe. <sighs> I think you're burping, but it's barf. Hey. Uh... Oh no, Beezer Shoe. Everybody. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Never really told me what to wish. All right. I wanna live in freedom I wanna dance with my demons I wanna drink for no reason And celebrate every season Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom Cause I got what you need Don't forget to subscribe And if you like what you see Please buy my merch Link in the description below